Good afternoon. Uh, it is planting season. Uh, I found out recently that a lot of families are feeling um, a little overwhelmed or unsure about some of these planting things. A lot of us are home now. And we've not been home. And so there's tons of us that are going ahead and getting started on these gardens, which is awesome. I love it. I think it's a great experience. It's a great experience for us as adults. It's a great experience for kids. It's awesome for all of us. So this is a nice little video, an easy peasy video, um, because I've also found out that there's some serious shortages for some of these seedlings. Serious seedling shortages. I'm trying to say that three times fast. So I wanted to um, just talk to you guys a little bit about this because it's a lot easier than you think. I have here all kinds of different uh, different things happening. This I'm not actually going to move because this is a bean plant. This was an experiment that my son did. He's six. He put the bean, you know, the little seed in, the pea seed, and they're just like little dried peas. Um, and we've been watching it grow and Beans need something to sort of climb, any kind of peas and beans. So we had this in there, but when we put it here, it started climbing this instead. So I'm not going to pull it out because it has these tiny little tendrils that are attaching to the screen. This is a seedling that I purchased. It's a patio tomato, and it's in this handy little container, no problem. Over here, this was something my daughter got for her birthday. Um, and again, easy peasy. These, some of these are growing really well. They come right off so I can show you. We actually don't even remember what she planted in here. I know that one of the things she planted was sunflowers, but I have no idea if the sunflowers are growing. There's a third one here. I don't know what is what in here. So this is all about an experiment for us. Um, my point here is that if you can get a seed packet, like this one, we have here, these are Sweet Aroma Hybrid Tomatoes. If you can get a seed packet, you can plant these babies in anything, all right? So I have here a little container, and I do have a package of potting soil. If you can't get potting soil, it's really not the end of the world. I also have in this container, which is something else you can plant in. We had planted in this and we just moved them into the garden. Um, I just have some extra soil from outside. I just dug it up so it was really soft and easy and put it in here. And now I have myself some soil. So you can put that right in there. And all you have to do is take a couple of your little seeds. You see these ones are very small and you put them in now for tomatoes you want to do just a couple because um, you don't expect them all to germinate so you put those in I'm just going to do those two you can do all six and then you just want to put a little more soil on top and then you want to make sure to thoroughly water them now there's two different kinds of containers that we've been using we were talking about using this Chobani container there are no holes in this so as you're watering it you just need to be aware that if you overwater it the water is going to sit in there these have little holes in the bottom little cuts so the water when there's too much it'll flow right out so you don't need to worry too much about it I also bought a whole set here I planted in this and a lot of these I've moved you can see how it's all loose here but these are peas and the peas are growing just fine there's an extra cucumber seed here that cucumber seed never germinated um, you know here's another pea there's some more peas over here kind of hiding under the wheatgrass wheatgrass is very easy and very hardy if you just want to you know try your hand at planting something and see how it goes um, and then, you know, once you get them in the, in these containers, these are a little bit harder to move out of because you have to like scoop it. Usually a spoon helps. If you're planting in one of these, 
I have some um, Delegata squash that I'm hoping is germinating in here. When you move it, you just squeeze it and you can pull the whole thing out and put it right into the ground. If you're doing container gardening, you're just going to want to get some bigger containers to move those kinds of things into. Squash is probably not a great thing to do in a container, um, but there are lots of things like tomatoes. You can do those in a container and peppers. Um, this is going to stay in a container, but I need to move it into a bigger one. So I hope you guys are able to get some gardening in. Uh, I'm available for any of my Woodland Playhouse questions. And have a great, beautiful day. Thanks, friends.